Yo, what is going on everybody? I am KP and today we're going to be talking about 5 tips to increase your KD. What we are going to be talking about in this video is crosshair placement, not sprinting around corners, strafing, using the right guns with the right attachments for your playstyle, and also to play slower. All the timestamps to these five tips are going to be in the comment section down below. So if you need to skip ahead, go ahead down there and click that timestamp. Also, if you want more tips, leave a like. Remember to subscribe so you don't miss another upload. And let's get right into the video. The first thing that I want to talk about is crosshair placement. This is arguably the most important thing that you need to implement into your game style to make your KD rise immensely. If you have your crosshair on the ground or in the air or to the left a little bit or to the right, you are not going to be ready for your next engagement and that is a big issue when trying to raise your kill death ratio. Where you want your crosshairs to be is, is exactly where your next target is most likely to be. So if you're running to a doorway, if you're planning on going through that doorway, your crosshairs should be on that doorway. That's because if a target comes out of nowhere and surprises you while you're running to that doorway, you have the highest chance of killing him because your crosshairs are on him already and you can just aim and shoot. Another reason crosshair placement is so important is because getting the first bullet on your enemy is critical for you to get that kill on him. And I strongly suggest you implement crosshair placement into your game style right away if you're not doing it already. Number two not sprinting around corners this is quite obvious everyone knows this one but there might be a few of you that don't do this and this is really really important why you want to do this is because you don't want to get caught when you're not ready for the enemy you don't want to get caught mid sprint because it's going to take a long time for you to get into that gunfight and as i said before getting the first bullet is extremely extremely important in any single gunfight number three strafing I see this a lot when people are just beginning to play Call of Duty. Once they get into the gunfight, they don't move. They just stay in a single spot and shoot the enemy in this single spot. But if you just move to the left, you don't have to do the pro strat, which is strafing left to right. Just go all the way to the left or all the way to the right in a single motion. And that is going to be your way of strafing. And it's going to be really, really important for you. There also is a bunch of other ways to avoid bullets from your enemy, and that is to jump or slide, but that is more professional techniques, and I will get to those in a later video. Number four, using the right guns with the right attachments for your playstyle. I see this way too often in beginners, and it is really essential that you get the right gun that is extremely powerful for a beginner, because you're obviously not gonna be the best of the game, and to have that little edge, like in Black Ops 4, using the Rampart is going to really give you that edge that you need to get kills and increase your KD. For example, you don't want to use Recon Sight on a SMG or something like that. You really don't want to do that and it's really important that you get these guns and these attachments right. Number five is to play slower. Now this seems kind of counterintuitive to those players that that might go about life a little fast because i know for me i love playing fast i love getting in the action as soon as possible but trust me playing slower is going to increase your kill death ratio immensely one thing you should do is while you're playing slower and more thoughtful you should be thinking about each and every engagement right say if an engagement didn't go your way you died during that engagement you have to think why didn't that engagement go my way? What did I do wrong? Did I not strafe? Did I have a gun that was less powerful than I should be using? You just have to think why that single engagement went wrong. This may seem like a hindrance to you and it, it is, but if you want to increase your kill death ratio and get better at Call of Duty, this is one thing that you really should be paying attention to and you really should be doing. Because working out your flaws, working out your mistakes is what is going to get you on that professional level. Also, this goes back to number one, where you're doing your crosshair placement. You should be playing slower and thinking about where your next target should be. Or you where your next target is most likely going to be. And that is basically what I have for you guys today. 
thank you very much for watching. If this was helpful in any way to you, then subscribe to me, leave a like so more people see this, and I appreciate every single one of you. I will see you in the next one.